गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द चैप्टर नंबर फाइव ऑफ नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ सेल इंट्रोडक्शन द इंट्रोडक्शन टू सेल बिगैन बैक इन द ईयर ऑफ सिक्सटीन फिफ्टी फाइव वेन अ रिवर्शनरी ऑब्जर्वेशन वॉज मेड बाई एन इंग्लिश साइंटिस्ट रॉबर्ट हुक दिस ऑब्जर्वेशन मेड बाई हिम वॉज सो ह्यूज दैट इट वेंट ऑन टू change the basic biological theory and research forever so how was the cell discovered robert hook was examining a dried section of the cork tree using a crude light microscope in this analysis he observed multiple small chambers which he named the cell the word cell is derived from a latin word cellula which means little room there is an image of the robert hook cock cell first and second is the image of the crude light microscope the next topic is what are living organisms made up of to understand this concept let us take an activity let us take a small piece of an onion bulb with the help of the forceps which is available in the dissection box take out the skin that is from its epidermis part then put a thin layer immediately in a watch glass containing water which will prevent the peel from getting folded let us take a glass slide put a drop of water on it and transfer a small piece of peel from the watch glass to the slide make sure that the peel is perfectly flat on the slide now we put a drop of saffron solution on this piece followed by a cover slip place the cover slip in such a way that not no air bubbles are observed in it place it under the compound microscope to observe the structure what do you observe you are able to observe structures of similar type or dissimilar type in order to observe the image obtained in the microscope we'll go through the first right now we will be observing the image of a compound microscope and studying some important parts of it first of all lenses the eyepiece with different magnification it has field lens towards the object and eye lens to close towards the observer's eye the objectives are generally with three different magnification low power 10 times high power 40 to 45 times and oil immersion 90 to 100x the focal length of this are 16 mm 4 mm and 1.8 to 2 mm respectively these objectives are mounted on a revolving nose piece for convenience the eyepiece and the objectives are fitted at the two ends of a hollow tube call the body tube second adjustment of objective lenses in some microscope coarse and fine focusing adjustment knobs are provided in order to lower or raise the body tube with lenses for rendering image clear this is done by rotation of the knobs the coarse adjustment is meant to bring to object into vision whereas the fine adjustment is used for focusing finer details third stage the object to be observed is kept on the glass slide and placed on the stage it may have clips to keep the slide in a desired position or a mechanical stage for horizontal movement of the object in some microscopes the stage may be raised or lowered with coarse and fine adjustment for focusing the object next mirror the mirror reflects the light which is transmitted through the object for observing it the mirror has two planes one concave and the other plane when natural light is available the plane mirror may be used for reflection of light because concave mirror would form window images however with the artificial illumination the concave mirror is necessary for higher magnification whereas for lower the plane mirror is used contribution of various scientists in the field of cell robert hook was a person who first discovered cell in a cock cell 
with the help of his primitive microscope. Leeuwenhoek was the person with the help of an improved microscope. He discovered free living cells in pond water. Robert Brown was the person who discovered the nucleus of the cell. Purkinje was the person who coined the term protoplasm. Skeleton and Squan were the person who gave the cell theory. Rudolf Wilchow was the person who suggested that new cells arise from the pre-existing cell by the process of cell division. Watson and Crick were the person who gave the DNA structure. What is cell theory? Cell theory was given by Skeleton and Squan. The statements are Every living organism is made up of cell and cellular product. New cells arise from the pre-existing cells by the process of cell division. Cell is the structural and functional unit of living organism. On the basis of number of cells, the organisms are divided into two, unicellular and multicellular. Unicellular organisms are those organisms which have only one cell, single cell, whereas multicellular organisms means those which have more than two cells. Example of multicellular organisms are human beings, whereas in case of unicellular organisms, it is amoeba. Topic is different type of cells. In this image, you can see stem cells, bone cells, blood cells, muscle cells, fat cells, skin cells, nerve cells, endothelial cells, sex cells, pancreatic cells, cancerous cells. Now, there are different types of cells. In that the smallest cell is Mycoplasma galliseptica, a parasitic bacteria which lives in the primate bladder, waste disposal organs, genital and respiratory tract, is thought to be the smallest known, capable of independent de de growth and reproduction. The cell in the work is known as Mycoplasma. Its diameter is 0 0.0001 millimeter. If we are talking about human body, largest cell is ovum or egg cell owing to its diameter. And however, now cell is considered to be the longest cell. The shape and size of a cell depends on its location and function. Each and every cell has its own unique function. Group of cells unite to form tissues. Group of tissues unite to form organs and group of organs unite to form organ system. Each and every tissue has its own function. Same way when the tissues unite it forms organ. Each and every individual organ has its own function. Same way in the organ system each and every part has its own function. Division of labor is not seen in many living organisms. They carry out multiple functions. What is the cell made up of? A cell is basically made up of biological molecules, proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and nucleic acids. These biomolecules are also made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Proteins and nucleic acids have nitrogen. What is the structural organization of the cell? Each cell has smaller structures called organelles which vary in number, size and types between different types of cells. In specialized cells, the shape and organelles are closely related to functions. Cells are organized into tissues and further into organs, organ systems and finally organism.